Hey guys, Kevin, Muddy River Tactical. Thanks for joining us back out at the range. We got a nice day today. We were in our sweatshirts last time, but today we got a new pistol that just came out. In 2023, Kenneth came out with the MC9, which arguably was one of the uh, most talked about pistols. Us, as a holster company anyways, it was our best holster launch ever. We were one of the first to have the holster for the MC9, and it just blew up. and you know, greatly aided in the growth of our company from people finding us looking for holsters for the MC9. So because of that reason, I'm really excited about these new pistols. I really like the MC9 as well, but now they just came out with two different versions of the MC9. This is the MC9 L, which is the same barrel length with a full size grip. So you can put it into like a 43 X compared to a 43 is really the kind of what they did here. And then they did the MC9 LS, which is the longer barrel with the full size grip. Both these pistols have 17 round mags. It comes with two 17 round mags. I'm guessing it will take all the mags that the Canix take, the subcompacts and TP9s and stuff like that. If I haven't tried, but I'm almost positive it will. So what they've really changed, we'll start with the L first. This is literally the same pistol as the MC9 you're used to, optics ready, same sights, got the slide bar release, the trigger that Canic is known for, just a good trigger, but it's got a full grip. So on the regular MC9 to get a full grip like that, you'd have to do the extended magazine to get that full grip, where this one is just flush. That way, the trigger, you can see it's got the trigger safety, and then it's got quite a bit of take up there to the wall then just a good reset so it's a very good trigger but it does have a lot of take up to it so like i said this mc9 l will use all the same holsters as a regular mc9 so if you have an mc9 holster and are switching to one of these to the l version you're good on the holster it's going to be the same where it becomes different here is they made this longer barrel here so like we use the expression of the glocks on this one this would be like a glock 48 version or sig x macro size pistol here with a 17 round they both have the interchangeable back straps everything that you'd see on the canic they have this one just has a longer uh, barrel on it it gives you just some different options and the longer grip i think it's really going to make them a more controllable pistol they just feel really good what i'm really curious to see and we'll do a long-term review on these Canic, the MC9 had a kind of a back and forth track record. We have one, we shot it absolute ton and never had an issue in the world with it. A lot of people had some issues with it. So it's kind of a back and forth. Today, we're not gonna do a full review. We're just gonna shoot both of them. I just really wanna kind of see the difference in controllability because feature wise, they're really close to the same MC9, just with the longer grip than this one with the longer barrel but just kind of see how they shoot. So we're just gonna shoot, each of them come with two magazines. We're gonna shoot two mags through each of them and they're 17 round mags. And then what comes in the box, as you can see up here, they got brushes, your back strap, the tool, this little Canic pistol, which is kind of cool, but it's a nut driver for your screws. Um, and it's got the mag loader in it, the trigger safety, the famous Canic holsters, just go away it's not even worth looking at um, i don't know why they even put them in there they're, they're they're charging you for them and it's just a subpar product so come to our website and get holsters for them but anyways which one do we want to start with we want to do the l or the ls let's do the l we'll just start with the regular l so this is going to be closest to the mc9 that we're used to so let's see what happens So like I said, I don't expect it to shoot a whole lot different than the MC9 because really it's the same thing. I'm just curious on how much better control you have of it with the longer grip. It shoots about the same, and to be honest with you, I shoot the MC9 with the extended mag in it, so it feels really close to that, but this gives you that from the get-go without having to go extended. I do like that you can, if you have other Canics, you can use the same mags 
in between them, which just gives you a lot more versatility there. Yeah, overall it shoots pretty good. No hiccups. We're shooting Blazer 115 grain full metal jacket through both of these. The sights on this one seem low, which I kind of have the same problem with the MC9. It's just, if you look how the grip is, it's kind of still up high. It doesn't have as low bore axis as some of the other pistols. So that may be part of it. Let's try this. LS version and see this one I'm more curious about because with the longer barrel it may make the recoil a little bit easier The recoil is a little bit better, but it's not tremendously better in my opinion. But let's do this other mag real quick. This one's shooting low to me too, which on either of these being optic ready, I'd put an optic on it. So that would fix that. But like I said, it's hard going back and forth between a lot of pistols as well, because they all have different characteristics to them and different sights. So on this one, if you would just watch more of the muzzle rise and how the gun recoils compared to the other one. I don't know, they both shoot smooth. I, I really think if I was gonna choose one, I think the LS feels a little better. I don't even know if it shoots smoother, but feels more balanced, if that makes sense. And having the 17 round mag, the only thing that I would say from a concealed carry standpoint, and it bothers some people and it doesn't, the grip is what gets harder to conceal. So you gotta realize if you're gonna appendix carry or this or something, you got the longer grip to deal with. So if I was going, like if you're gonna buy a Kydex holster from us for either one of these pistols, and the inside the waist, I definitely suggest the claw for sure, just because of the grip. But overall, it's still a micro nine pistol. It's narrow. I don't think it's going to be a huge problem because concealed definitely in the winter. But just something to think about there. If a grip is an issue for you, you cannot make this grip shorter. Whereas on the MC9, you can put the flush in there and you can kind of get rid of it. So like I said, we'll be doing a video, a thousand round review on probably the LS. We probably won't do it on both of them because... They're the same guns, just different configuration. And just try to see the long-term track record, see if we can get to a thousand rounds with no issues. Just kind of to put that at rest, because I know some people are kind of leery about the MC9s just because they heard some people having issues with the first ones. Like I said, I was not one of those people, whether I was just lucky or whatever. Ours has been flawless and we've shot every kind of ammo through it. So anyways, let me know your comments below on what you guys think of these pistols. I think Canik's done a good job of kind of listening to the market and following the trends and bringing a pistol that people are wanting. And that, I mean, you see it in all the guns. They longer grip, little longer barrel. It kind of just goes back and forth on what the market demands at that time. So I'm glad they kind of uh, diversified and filled a little gap in there. But as always, if you need any holsters, check us out at muddyrivertactical.com. And just to reiterate, if you have just getting the L, it will fit the same holsters as a regular MC9. If you get the LS, it'll be a completely different holster. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments section below. And until next time, keep practicing and always be prepared.